In this presentation, we are going to talk about getting started with antenna simulations using Ansoff. Ansoff is a tool that allows the creation of an antenna model to calculate its electromagnetic behavior. So, we create a computer model of an antenna from which we can predict the radiation pattern, input impedance and bandwidth. Ansoff was designed to run on computers running Windows operating systems. For those who are less familiarized with antenna simulation, the numerical calculations often require a lot of computer memory, so we have to manage this resource carefully. As key advantages of using Ansoff, we can mention a fast and easy input interface having many tools with mouse support. In addition to the input and output tools, we have key differentiators. Ansoff is the only commercial simulation software that uses conformal segments for curved structures, which has a direct impact on the computer memory required. Another differentiator is the modeling of PCB, printed circuit boards, and microstrip antennas. It is a frequently asked question what is the highest frequency that Ansoff supports, and the answer is it does not depend on frequency, but on the size of the antenna measured in wavelengths and the available computer memory. I will talk a little bit about the fundamentals, the theory behind antenna simulation. At the beginning we have to describe antenna geometry and operating frequencies. Antennas are made of metallic structures and we can model the structure by means of a wire approximation. So, we use thin wires to approach antenna geometry and conducting surfaces. For example, if we have a helix antenna backed by a circular plate, as the picture shows, we can model the helix using a helical thin wire and the circular plate by a grid of thin wires. After the geometry and frequency definition, we have to feed the antenna by means of a voltage source or a current source, and then we can run the calculation. First of all, Ansoft will compute the current distribution along the wire structure. Then, we can run the calculation of far field to get the radiation pattern. So, first of all, we define antenna geometry and frequency. Second, we obtain the current distribution. And third, we obtain the electromagnetic field. The electromagnetic field can be a far field or a near field. Now we will talk about the method of moments. It is a numerical technique that comes from statistics, and in electromagnetics it is used to calculate the electric currents on metallic structures. To apply the MOM, we have to divide the antenna into small segments compared to the wavelength. Each segment represents a dipole moment having an unknown current intensity. By computing the mutual interactions between segments and the self-impedance of each segment, we build an impedance matrix or Z-matrix. So, we obtain a set of linear equations in matrix form, where the unknowns are the currents in the segments. Then, we have as many segments as unknowns. This is a computation in the frequency domain, so we have to repeat the calculation for each frequency within the frequency range we have, because we have a different Z matrix for each frequency. In the traditional method of moments, the moments are straight segments. So, a linear approximation to the geometry is used. In some cases, we have to deal with curved antennas, like circular loops, helices and spirals. In those cases, we have to use a lot of linear segments to approach the geometry. So, we have to worry about geometry approximation besides the current distribution approximation. Geometry and moments are bound together in the traditional MOM. So, the more segments we use, the better the approximation of geometry and current distribution will be. On the contrary, geometry and moments are no longer bound together in Ansoff, they are independent from each other. So, we don't have to worry about geometry since it is modeled exactly, we only need to set a number of segments in order to obtain the desired resolution in the current distribution. Besides, there are other issues regarding angles between adjacent segments and the separation between them. To remedy these issues, we have implemented a conformal method of moments in Ansoff. We use conformal segments that describe exactly the geometry of curved antennas. So, we don't have to worry about the geometry approximation, we only have to take into account the number of segments that will be used to approximate the current distribution. In summary, we have the following advantages of using the CMOM. A reduction in the number of calculations, since we need fewer segments to approach geometry compared to the traditional method of moments. Fewer segments means a smaller Z matrix, fewer computer memory and faster calculations. Accuracy is also improved, 
Since the Z matrix is ill-conditioned, and a fewer matrix size means less effort for solving the linear equations by the inversion algorithms. We also obtain an extended frequency range. The upper frequency limit only depends on the available RAM memory, but the lower frequency limit only depends on the accuracy of the calculation, and the numeric representation of real numbers. Since we use double precision arithmetic in ANSOF, we can perform simulations of practically stationary problems, where we have static fields at zero frequency. Regarding the ANSOF input interface, it is important to have tools for drawing the antenna structure with minimum effort. Maybe some of you know the NEC software. NEC stands for Numerical Electromagnetics Code and it is a traditional implementation of the method of moments. In NEC software, we have to define linear wires as command lines, so it is difficult to read and edit by users. However, if you have NEC files, you can import most of the data into ANSOF easily. In the following videos we will show examples of how easy it is to use ANSOF to simulate antennas. Stay tuned.